Hey guys, welcome back to the Sniper and Chronicles, and we're coming back at you with another Ratchet video. This time we have a Titan. This is a Nano Titan, the Nano series uh, Ratchet. It's a very small Ratchet. This is a quarter inch drive. It has 90 teeth, has a limited lifetime warranty. Item number on this is 11330, and it comes in this packaging. And this is made at your in Taiwan. Uh, yeah, so there's some information, I guess, on Titan. A phone number, uh, one 800 number. I have no idea of how to warranty this, except that it came from Amazon. And I think Amazon has like, I don't know. A month warranty or something you can send it back in a month or something like that well this one uh this is the actu actually this is the second one i received because i received one before and i had to send it back because let me open this up i had to send it back because it wasn't operating properly it's supposed to be 90 teeth and when i was ratcheting it one way you can hear all the clicks of the 90 teeth and then when I switched it and was ratcheting the other way it started uh, it started uh, ratcheting but not in 90 teeth it started ratcheting it started uh, skipping teeth I guess it, it was it was like uh, maybe a 45 uh, tooth ratchet because instead of every 90 you can hear the 90 clicks it was like chunk 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 you can hear like bigger clicks it wasn't uh, properly seating i guess the 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 paw wasn't properly seating on uh on the teeth so i had to send that one back and for some reason when you send things back and you don't have prime or anything like that on uh amazon it takes like a month to get <laughs> what you sent back to get the replacement so kind of a uh, funny thing about Amazon that way but uh, this ratchet here is very small here we go with the ruler it's so it's about uh, maybe less than two and a quarter inches in length for this ratchet it's uh, a swivel head as opposed to a flex head these are one of these swivel style ratchets that um, seems like it would come in pretty handy quarter inch for really tight spots on uh, something you're trying to get out with a tight spot and you can't really really put much of a tool in there and this this might be able to help you in those regards uh, the handle it has some knurling here in the middle and the knurling is really aggressive uh, it's a real you, f you feel it has a really good grip when you are uh, going to uh, twist and turn because of that pretty aggressive knurling there there's a little bit more of a close-up so oh and by the way if you find these videos at all entertaining or interesting and you get something out of them do me a big favor and go and hit the like button and the subscribe button and uh yeah that would be really cool so all right let's take this apart um uh, this has a screw here and this is a two millimeter hex attachment and it has two screws on the side holding the head to the ratchet okay Let me switch so i can get a grip on this and there we go Maybe this will be a, a little bit quicker. I'm getting the screw off. 
And be careful when you take this apart because there's a spring underneath there and it wants to probably fly out. And this hasn't been taken apart, so I'm showing you what's in there from the package. And here's the screw that holds the switch and it has some blue Loctite on it. And here is the switch and the protrusion there on the switch. And you guessed it, that protrusion goes into the heart spring. Oh, this fell out the bottom. Let's see if I can put that in there like that. Okay, and it has this heart spring that helps facilitate the switching of the pole. And we get that out, and that's what that looks like. And there's a tiny pole, and looks like a super lube style of lubricant on it. And you can see the tiny, tiny teeth on this ratchet, a 90 tooth ratchet. And here is the pole, and everything has a good slathering of super lube or something similar and that is the body of the ratchet and here is the ball detent looks pretty good well centered and all that here is the tiny paul i'm not sure how many teeth on that like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen i don't know i'm gonna not gonna be exact but it looks like maybe 20 teeth on there i could be wrong but quite a number of teeth on the paw and on the back that's what it looks like has a little bevel on this edge not much of a bevel and on the front, it says TSS90. So there you go. And if you want to completely take it apart, I guess you can go in and take off these side screws. Looks more like a plug there. And you can see they p did use some Loctite. It looks like a red Loctite on the side screws. I'll take this one off. And that's that plug. And we look, and there's more like a reddish, a reddish looking Loctite. And, hmm, huh, for some reason, oh, there we go, okay. I was having trouble getting it off there, but this is what the fork looks like. And this is what, uh, this is what the teeth, uh, the head looks like, the tooth part, looks like a ring actually. And those are the two uh, indentations for the plugs when you stick the plugs in. There you see some more of the red uh, Loctite let's put this back together and uh you won't be able to put it in like this or this or this or this i think you have to put it in like that and then twist it and then now it goes in okay you might want to center those indentations with the plugs the plugs in and the other 
this side. Maybe I should have used a, a shorter tool because even this small thing is kind of unwieldy uh, in front of the camera. And you tighten it down. You tighten this one down. Not super tight because then you won't be able to twist the head so you might want to back up a just a tad when you tighten them down. That way this will be able to swing uh, more freely okay and now we take the body and this goes in a particular way uh, I think let me see no you see that uh, cut out there on the edge this one's flat so I think this part goes against this flat part here and that little ledge there is for the switch to sit in. Okay, uh, now here's the fun part. You want to put your pole in like that. And then the spring, the spring, both, both prongs of the swing of the spring go into the hole of the pole. So to squeeze it together a little bit and get both prongs in there. Like so. So it should look something like that. Okay, and then that protrusion on the inside of the switch goes on the bottom, on the inside bottom of the spring. Make sure you hold it because the spring is kind of springy and it wants to uh, wants to dance around let me try let me get this out well I guess I'm gonna have to use the tool <laughs> I wanted just to use uh, the plug just the uh, the bit so I can start it but I don't think it wasn't wanting me to take it out Retry this again because if you don't hold the switch down onto the heart spring, it's going to jump out of that little protrusion. So let's see if we do this again. And try it again.
switch. And there we go. Yeah, it could be a little pain. I thought that this would help. <laughs> you know, this is the icon. Uh, what do you call it? Thingamajiggy. And I guess it was too... Too unwieldy. Unwieldy for this project. Maybe if I would have did it like this, it would have been better. Or maybe if I would have put it at the end. Maybe that would have been better. Just use it like a screwdriver. Yeah, that probably would have worked better. But anyhow... There's my uh, plug for the icon, but uh, yeah, this is the little, uh, the small Titan Nano ratchet, and it seems pretty good, I mean, for those uh, really tight spots, or even people like to carry these as an everyday carry type of item, because it's so small. Or something like that with a few uh, essential kind of uh, sockets with it. You know, that would be cool too. But it seems pretty good. I like small tools, so I kind of like this one. Alright guys, that's all I got for now. Until next time.